I reckon there's at least five teams in the AFL that need to go in a new direction and completely redesign their Guernseys. In most of these cases, looking backwards might actually be the answer. The first team is obviously Gold Coast. No need to spend too much time talking about them as we've covered their potential redesign in a few videos before. Let's wait and see what their rumoured rebrand turns out to be in 2025. Next we have the Giants and I've said before that I'm not a fan of their current home jumper. They really took a simple but unique design in their original jumper and just made it more bland. For this one I'd go back to that original design but this time actually execute it properly which was something GWS always seemed to struggle with. Personally I'd prefer a mostly black back of the jumper as it helps to limit clash but it obviously still works with the orange back which seems to be the club's preference. For their entire jumper set I'd keep it similar to what they currently have just in that original design. A mostly orange away jumper, I'd have a black bit at the top but it would still work without. The black never surrender jumper Jumper, again with the G shifted to the side to match the original home design and then a white clash jumper with an orange G and a black section at the top. I do think the Giants need a white clash even if it's only for away games against Hawthorne. Next we have Frio. I've always liked the chevrons and they do look good but the anchor is uniquely Frio and I think the time has come to bring it back but with a slight twist. I think the home jumper should be the old purple haze Guernsey. So all purple with a white anchor. I think this is a perfect mix of the old and the new. I'd also keep the white trim on the collar and cuffs that was used in the original purple haze jumpers as I think that just looks a little better than the all purple collar and cuffs used on the chevron kits. The clash would obviously be the same design just in white. You could maybe argue that it'd be cool to have a green and purple variation for away games where there's no clash but this also might just be unnecessary. The third jumper I'd add to Frio's set is bringing back the original home jumper specifically for derbies. I think this jumper just better represents the history of the rivalry, particularly when the hatred between the teams was at its most fierce. There's also something iconic about seeing these four Freo colours up against the blue and gold of West Coast. Our next team is the Power. I loved the V jumper when they first brought it in back in 2010, but I feel it's become really stale now and similar to Freo and the Chevrons, it's just not a unique design that says Port Adelaide. There's a few different ways you could go about this redesign. The first option would be to create a set of Guernseys around the original away jumper design. It's another nice mix of the old and the new with the sleek black look that made the V jumper look great mixed with some unique port power lightning bolt elements. The second option would be to go back to the original home jumper which I think looked great in their 2024 throwback game and then build a set of jumpers around that design. It's interesting that they came up with a lot of abstract clash designs over the years but never really tried clash versions of these OG jumpers. Our next team is the Western Bulldogs and my controversial opinion is that I think the Bulldogs actually have the ugliest jumpers in the league at the moment. The red and white they've added to the collar and cuffs really ruins what would be a decent looking jumper. So again we have a few options here. Firstly they could just make the collar and cuffs blue again like the kit they wore in their 2016 premiership season which in my opinion is the last time the Bulldogs Guernseys actually looked good. The second option which is my favourite would be to bring back the Robo Dog. I still think the best the dogs have ever looked is back in the early 2010s when they had the blue and white Robo Dog jumpers. These Guernseys perfectly separated the blue and red with some white between them as red and blue of this shade never look good when directly next to each other but the Robo Dog also adds just a slightly unique element that represents the team similar to Frio's anchor or Port's lightning bolts. The third option would be to get back to the design they used in the mid 70s to the mid 90s which is basically the Robo Dog jumper without the Robo Dog. The only change I'd make to this design would be to have the collar and cuffs blue instead of red and white as they were back in the day. Let me know which teams you'd like to see redesign their jumpers in the comments below and I'll see you next time.